Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the new upcoming character Nivellet and hopefully help you figure out if he fits your playstyle and team composition, so ultimately if this character is worth your wishes. This character has very unique charge attacks, it does seem to have a short cast time to then activate a water beam which is channeled over 3 seconds. While doing this, Nivellet's HP slowly gets drained until he hits 50%, but he can consume source water droplets to heal himself back up again, and they also speed up the cast time it takes for the next water beam to activate. These droplets will be generated by his elemental skill alongside dealing some hydro damage. And the bear skill does kind of the same, but on a bigger scale obviously. As for passives, the first one increases underwater sprint speed, the second one he gets some hydro damage bonus based on his max HP starting at 30% HP and above, and it caps out at I believe 80% of Nivellet's maximum HP. And the last one increases damage of his charge attacks after any character in your team triggers various types of hydro related elemental reactions. It goes from 10 to 25 to 60% bonus damage. I don't really know who exactly to compare Nivellet to since he's so very unique, but my guess is he will kind of play like a bow character using charge attacks, thinking of Lin or Ganyu for example. I would assume that Nivellet will be equally easily interrupted, so shield characters might turn out to be nice comfort picks once again. One thing I really like are trade-off mechanics, which is something they add a lot these days, but for this character in particular, they might actually have nailed it. When looking at Nivellet's passive skill, fitting three types of hydro reactions into a team is a lot harder, but they also made it very rewarding, going from 10 to 25 to 60% bonus charge attack damage for one, two or three types of hydro reactions respectively sounds very worth it, especially looking at the spike from 2 to 3. I have to assume that this actually incentivizes you to put some extra thought into your team compositions, which is something I really like. Also in case you have some concerns like me about the source water droplets, it seems he automatically absorbs them, you don't have to run around and collect these, that would obviously be really annoying. Speaking of putting some thought into teams, you can probably just run a regular Vaporizer Freeze team with a Zhongli and some Anima support, for example Sucrose, which very well might turn out to be the best choice. For something more creative though, Baiju seems pretty nice because he has good off-field dendro application and never let drains HP, so Baiju can easily activate his passive skill while also providing a shield. If you want to go for three Hydro Reactions, you have Baiju for Bloom, Sucrose for Hydro as well, and in the last slot an Electra or Pyro character for Hyper Bloom or Burgeon teams with the occasional Vaporize and Electro Charge sprinkled in for the third Hydro Reaction. To quickly touch on Hydro Resonance for the extra HP, it might be okay in the future once we see a new Hydro character, but for now I really don't see it. Yelan would be very worth it, but obviously she doesn't work with charge attacks and you need a character doing as much as her to justify dropping the Valette charge attack damage bonus passive by one level. Aside from this, over vape team similar to the Raiden national team can be interesting since you can get away with mostly 4 stars, Fischl, Zhangling and Bennett for example is a very solid early game team. For the build, I'm not going to go into too much detail, it's going to be the usual damage stats. The main thing to point out here is Nivellet's HP scaling, so focus on HP instead of attack. There's one weapon I really like to highlight though, and it's the prototype Amber for the heal over time to keep Nivellet's hydro damage passive up, and it might also allow you to drop a healer on your team altogether or make teams just relying on shields a little safer. Aside from this, a simple and solid starting point would be a Witsith and the Wondrous Troop artifacts. Eventually you are looking for the new Mar I should say Hunter said though. Alright, we made it to the end. I hope this was somewhat helpful to figure out if this character appeals to you. I will get Novelette and try him out, so stay tuned for that. Until then, have fun and bye bye.